Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, or if you're new here, welcome officially to the channel. This is as you know from the intro series where I go into odd game accessories or peripherals that developers made to help us get more into the game mentally or physically. Today I have something laughable and in its own way fascinating. What would you say if I told you Nintendo found a way to work biometrics into video games? Now, I'm not talking about an up and coming project. This goes all the way back to the N64. So stick around for a bit as I tell you about the Nintendo Biosensor? All of this actually started with the most unlikely of games, Tetris 64. I know what you're saying, there was no Tetris 64. Well, not stateside, you'd be correct there. However, Japan, that's another story. The game itself wasn't really anything too special, it actually played like, well, pretty much any version of Tetris, with various different backdrops from various different parts all over the world. However, they were trying to do something somewhat new with this version. You see, this version was designed by a company called SETA, and they also made a biometric sensor for the system. This wasn't to act as some sort of locking mechanism, but rather to provide feedback to the user's blood pressure while playing the game. I know what you're asking, why? Why on earth would you design something for a console to measure blood pressure? Well, that's the interesting part. Tetris 64 cared. In fact, this device was actually included with the game and for some odd reason sold separately, which is very odd as it only ever worked with this game. Yeah, I know, you're still not getting any answers as to the why part, but before we get into that, let's talk about the how, shall we? This was a fairly small device. It was the size of a memory pack, in fact, for the N64, and that's by no coincidence as it plugged into the exact same slot. Once it was in, you would then attach the clip to your ear. This clip would then attach to the unit via the cable, and it would then read the player's heart via photolesmography, which I am 100% certain I butchered in ways that border on a war crime. The process, as I'm calling it, can be used to detect blood volume changes in the micro microvascular bed of tissue. Whew. Okay, I never need to go into medicine. How this works is it illuminates the skin and measures changes in light absorption. The less light that it measures means the blood vessels are more and more contracted, and that means higher blood pressure overall. It's pretty straightforward and a fairly simple explanation as to what's likely a very technical device that looks to see how intense slash worked up you are about a game in any given moment. But this still begs the question of why? Why bother doing this at all? Again, this all goes back to Tetris. Tetris 64, as stated earlier, was launched only in Japan on November 13th of 1998, in fact. It was created by Amtex and published by SATA Corporation. Yep, the same people that made the biosensor itself, as we noted before. Once you plug the sensor into the controller pack slot and clip the end piece to your ear, you would have access to additional groups of biotetramones, group A and group B. If your heart rate was high, trickier blocks would drop that would be harder to place. However, if you stay calm and keep your heart rate down, simpler, easier pieces would drop instead. Not all reviewers actually found the tech all that interesting, and many of them stated that it could hardly notice any difference in the gameplay. And at this point, it would be kind of hard to say if they were right or wrong, as the game would naturally be harder to manipulate the higher the stacks get. Now, if you put it in reverse mode, which is indeed an option, you might actually notice a more significant change. As things get tense, you naturally start finding what you need to get just that much further. It's an interesting concept to say the least, and one that would easily get people a love-hate relationship with the game, and any other game it might touch, frankly. As for influence, well, I've never seen or heard of this technology being used anywhere else, so I'd have to say no. It really didn't have any kind of influence in the greater scheme of things. But what did you guys think of this one, though? Are any of you a fan of this little oddity? Did any of you ever have one of these biosensors? And if so, how well did slash does it work? Let me know in the comments. However, for now, thank you so much for watching and spending part of your day with me. If I can ask you for one more favor, please leave this video a like. And if you haven't, consider subscribing. It really does help me out. For now, though, thank you once again. And until next time, 
Happy gaming.